Well, this is the beginning of a little fire. I'm going to heat me up some water and make some apple cider. And out here under my tarp patch. <laughs> Sun's still up. Beautiful day. Fall day. The leaves are starting to get really pretty. And uh, this little fire is just so easy. Cotton ball. I used a cotton pad with some uh, stuff on it to make it burn good. That lit this fire like it was. It's just absolutely easy, you know. So starting fires with a lighter and a cotton pad, <laughs> to me that's the way to go. These sparks and things and this and that, it's up to you if you want to do it, but it's definitely unnecessary. These little fires like this, you can light them, no effort. No effort at all. I've got a pile of sticks over here. So all I was going to do is heat up a little cup of water and make me some uh, Apple cider. Get that ready to go. And just enjoy a hot cup of apple cider. I've got a chair out here with a blanket, a blow up pillow, my shoes, got my down comp uh, my down sleeping bag, and my you know hammock. And now this is my front yard. I've got a large yard. bench behind me to sit in. It's really a nice place. Here's my water pot going in the fire. Just a few sticks. Maybe two large ones and two medium size. Put this in. Get it going. Try to keep these handles off to the side. And there you go. Fire box at its best. Really, the smoke that's here is blowing up and going out the left side. So we are, this is under the tarp, so if it was raining, you could use this stove. If you raise the edges of the tarp up like this. Got my pile of goodies over here. Plate, water bottle, even have alcohol stove, alcohol, lantern. Bunch of wood. Those bags have wood in them, so I've got plenty of wood for several fires, I would say. Little ones in these. The firebox handles small fires, and they'll last a lot longer with a little bit of wood. But as far as cooking and just boiling water, this thing's got it. <laughs> Pot's a good size for it, really. Fits right over the stove. Flames shoot up under it. Just perfection. I don't think it's ready to take off. I'm just going to mess and see. Oh, heck, it's already boiled. Man, that didn't take no time. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm amazed how fast the water boiled. Didn't need much of a fire for that. Well, let me get off of here and pour my drink. Uh -huh. This old Ted. Fire going still. My drink's done. I'm just really waiting for it to cool off. We get it boiling, then we let it cool down. It's too hot to drink. But, uh, having a nice, enjoyable swing in my hammock. I really enjoyed the E&O. I got a nice feather jacket on my daughter and her husband gave me. Shelly and Derek. I love this thing. My sleeping bag is a down bag I got through Walmart. Uh, it was on sale. I like it a lot. It's warm. <laughs> it's lightweight, small, and compact down to nothing, and it's warm. But 
just looking around, I'll show the area. Swimming away, enjoying the hammock. This is old Ted. I'm going to have my drink and relax. Hope you guys get to get out and have a little fun outside. This is in my front yard, but there's no better place for convenience of getting out in a hammock. And I even, I come out here and cook meals, relax out here instead of having to go out in the woods somewhere way away. Which I like to do that too, but this is definitely easy. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoy the few videos I put up. I like the little stoves I have. There's so many of them. Uh, I enjoy watching stove videos. And most guys that camp out seem to really enjoy these little wood stoves. So uh, I hope you guys will enjoy watching this firebox. It's a folding firebox. In my judgment, it's one of the best. It's probably, it's heavy. It's two pounds. It really comes in handy to have a stable base on a stove. I have really lightweight titanium stoves and they're very easy to tip over and this thing is uh, much more solid so that is a plus of having some weight and thickness to the metal but I'm sure it'll last anybody a lifetime so anyway there's nice stoves out there this one happens to be my favorite I enjoy using other ones but this is the best one I think in my judgment that's my opinion. Everybody's got their own. And the stove you have, uh, they all get hot. They all cook the food. And they're all very nice and lightweight. This one's not the lightweight one. But it has more variety than almost any stove. Most of them. Uh, if you want to do various different things cooking. But, uh, I guess I'll let you guys go now. Fire is burned down. I better put some sticks in or either do without. <laughs> okay, you guys have a great day. This is Ted out. Well, this is old Ted again. Put my bedroll here, using that for a pillow. If it gets cool tonight, I can throw that over me. I think this uh, feather sleeping bag is going to be quite adequate, but it always helps to have extra blanket. And since I'm in front of my house, I can bring anything I want out here. <laughs> Might even put a blow up mattress under here. Anyway. I'm enjoying this. I think it's pleasant. Listen to the birds. Crickets. Woodpecker. I don't know guys, looks like the way to go. <laughs> this is old Ted. Have a great weekend guys.